Hey guys, what's up? It's iJevin. How is everybody doing? I'm back with another Minecraft video and I hope you guys are all having a great day. And welcome! Welcome to 10 Epic t Tips and Tricks for Minecraft. I hope you guys are excited about the video. I'm trying to, you know, switch up the content a little bit. So one thing that you're probably going to notice is that you, you've probably seen or heard or do some of these tricks that I put in the video. Uh, so what I want you to do is if you have any new tips or tricks that you would like to see in a new video after this one later down the line I can come back to and read your comment and maybe give you some credit So put in down, down in the comment description below what you know and maybe you'll get into the next video Anyways guys without further ado here are my 10 tips and tricks A good tip for playing Minecraft survival is to know the durability of your items Hitting F3 and H at the same time will allow you to see this durability Having trouble finding the rest of the cave? Use a minecart and a leaf on fast graphics to find the rest of the caves. Easy x-ray. Want to spice up your animal farms? Name a name tag Jeb underscore all lowercase in the anvil. Apply this to a sheep for a rainbow colored sheep. When you shear the sheep, you will get the color of the original wool, but when he eats, he will also remain rainbow. Another fun thing you can do with name tags is to name a name tag Dinnerbone with a capital D and apply it to an animal or mob. This will flip the mob upside down and it can move and you can even go as far as riding these animals if that's possible. Having trouble climbing up the side of a mountain? Use a bucket of water to climb the side of the mountain. This by picking it up and placing it down continuously, just like so. Pretty simple to do. Just remember to pick up your bucket of water on the upslope and just to keep placing it as you go. Want to get the most out of your splash potions? Do not throw them on the ground. As a simple test, test it with throwing a potion on the ground. You have 5 minutes and 12 seconds. We'll clear that and then we'll throw potions straight up directly hitting us. We now have 5 minutes and 59 seconds. You can also achieve the same effect by putting a potion inside of a dispenser. When the potion directly hits you, you get the most out of it, so do not throw your potions on the ground. If you're afraid of heights in Minecraft, an easy way to place a border around a high area, a pad, or an island is to place a torch down and then walk up to the torch and place a block on the side of it. Now you can continue your border without having to shift off the side. In such scenarios such as Skyblock, sometimes you have to use a water elevator to get down to place more blocks. An easier way to do this is to use vines as your disposal. They can place over top of blocks and are easy to continue and they continuously grow. Which means as long as you can reach, you can place a block on the vine. If you want to remove them, you can always replace them by leaving the source vine there and letting it grow. Want an easy way to make still water? Place a block down, place a torch on top of the block, give one space, and place the ice down. Using this technique will allow you to make still water. Still water can be used for water elevators and boat paths that float in the air. Plus, they look very cool. If you accidentally place down your dragon egg, an easy way to collect it is to break the blocks underneath of it, placing a torch and breaking the block. It'll pop the block off and you'll be able to pick it up. And finally, for our last tip, if you are having trouble getting in and out of your animal pens with your animals escaping, use a piece of carpet and put it on top of the fence. You can easily jump over top of this to get in and out, no problem. The animals will not be able to do the same. Alright guys, well that's going to do it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I hope that you found these tips and tricks useful. And like I said, if you have any new tips or tricks that you would like to see in an updated video later on, leave them down in the comment section below. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, I hope that you would leave a like. I'm really trying to up the content on the channel and do more editing and things like that, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this and want to see more in the future. Uh, don't worry, the Let's Plays are not going anywhere. They'll be here as well. Uh, anyways, guys, I hope you guys all have a great day. This is iJevin. Peace out.